All right. Uh, hello, everyone. Hello, Hi. and welcome to this eighth episode of Vspire Lab Facebook Live Interview Series. And today we we have Executive Director and Co-Founder of The Lorry, Mr. Nadir. He will be speaking to us on how to st start up, start your startup the right way. So he'll also say what is the wrong way. So without further ado, let me invite Mr. Nadir to give a brief introduction of himself. Right. Hi everyone. Hi everyone listening. Hello Nadir. Hi. <laughs> uh, my name is Nadir. I'm the uh, one of the co-founders of the Lorry. Um, also the executive director. Um, brief introduction. I suppose maybe education. Bole, bole. Right. Um, no, where are you from? Education. Okay. Oh, well, I'm a Klang Valley guy, true and true. Uh, I've never been in Penang, never been in JB. All right. right. So, um, uh, study in Curtin University in Australia. Curtin. Uh -huh. Got a master's uh, in finance and a wow. degree in accounting. Wow. And then uh, my first job was in investment banking. Ah, big four ke apa ke? Uh, it was CMB. 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 And then I uh, was there for for uh, one year, one year plus. Mm -hmm. And then I got headhunted into an air freight company. Air freight. Oh, air freight. Air freight. Okay. Air freight yeah. so like air DHL and all that. No, no, it's a... Uh, Transmile. So a lot of um, foreign carriers, uh -huh. when they come over to Malaysia, uh -huh. they, they like to focus on ticket sales. Ticket, ticket means passenger. Okay. So typically, the, the belly capacity or the cargo side, uh -huh. they will actually outsource okay. to companies, what we call the general sales agents. All right. So all these right. guys are the ones that will go to the market and sell the cargo, the cargo capacity. Mm -hmm. So back then, I was working for a company that represented the likes of uh, Pakistan Airlines, wow. um, Etihad, Etihad. Etihad and, and Turkish Airlines uh -huh. and, and other airlines as well. Uh -huh. Then after that, uh, I started my, my own journey, lah. my own journey in entrepreneurship and here we are today. So, uh, was it a worthwhile jump? Oui, no, no. I, I wouldn't trade whatever I'm doing right now. Uh -huh. you know, uh, Delory will celebrate its third, third year, third year. Uh, next wow. month. Like so I wouldn't trade this for, for the world. I mean, Klang. I'm absolutely satisfied with whatever I'm doing. Uh, sure. In terms of not satisfied with the performance. Performance oh, can always no, no, be better. No, no. Entrepreneurs yeah, yes, are yeah. never satisfied. So you're, you're like never happy. It's like your own kid, man. Even yeah. if she's in top of the class, why not 100? Correct, correct, correct. <laughs> so but like if you were to compare my life at the moment, being uh -huh. an entrepreneur, uh -huh. I feel more satisfaction. Uh, more right. satisfaction in terms uh -huh. of impact, in terms of uh, the value that I bring to society right, rather than right. when I was in corporate. So, uh, like, a bit about family. You're married and with two kids. Married. Hi, Yang, if, you, if you're watching. <laughs> if you watching. And uh, i got two kids, two uh -huh. daughters. You uh, can one. show your replay as well. Uh, yeah, can, can, can. I'll, I'll show to her later. I've uh, got two kids, two daughters, uh -huh. beautiful daughters. One is uh, four and uh -huh. one is one year old. So, you started right after you had your kid yeah really was it like really hard to like have a small kid at home and also manage your startup uh it was difficult however i think i'm on this side uh -huh. where where i am I'm, I'm i'm with the philosophy that when you have kids uh -huh. rezeki ah. yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm with that philosophy yes, yes, yes. so uh i got my uh, first kid in 2013 okay and started so, lorry yes. in 2014 so, so i i consider that rezeki anak Mm, that's a very beautiful way to put it. Yeah, yeah. But then your workload doubles. And workload everything. doubles, uh, but uh, again, you know, my wife has been instrumental uh -huh. uh, in taking care of the kids while you know I come back at ten o'clock, eleven o'clock at night. Uh -huh. So I'm really thankful, thankful to you. Um, but again, uh, entrepreneurs they definitely ha need to have support system. Definitely, so, they can't uh, do it alone. Whether man. it be your partner, your mm. uh, your companion, your mm. significant other, uh -huh. or even uh, a group of entrepreneurs themselves uh -huh. that actually give you advice and support. Uh, so, because you will face uh -huh. emotional roller coasters. Definitely up and down, up and down. Uh -huh. So, uh, when you're not doing so well, you need to uh, open up did to it, some people. Did you feel you. like, uh, I don't want to do this anymore, I want to go back to like whatever I was doing before? Uh, well, uh, no, not, not whatever I was doing before. Uh -huh. uh, but something but else. there are times when I felt that this is difficult. Uh -huh. uh, I mean, the past three years, I've literally uh, shed blood, sweat and tears. Uh, literal. I'm talking blood. Literal blood. Literal sweat. Kena pukul dengan literal tears. Tears. Uh, lorry driver ke? Blood is usually when you carry items lah. Uh, all right. All right. Guys, all right. Uh, with a job. 
sweat, I see. you know. So you you were initially in the job carrying yeah. your everything. Yeah, that's that's part cargo. of the validation process, lah, which I'll ah, explain maybe all a right, bit later. Right. So like, so you have explained about yourself, your background, and like, could you explain about the lorry? Why did you start it? And of everything in the world right now, I okay, I can see the connection between your air freight okay, and yeah. this land yeah. freight. So why this job okay. and all that? I think um, the the overall vision for the lorry really mm. when we when she and I started this, uh-huh. uh, we we came from. Chi Chi Hao was Chi. my, uh, is my okay. partner, not was, uh, uh, is my is partner. Your partner yes. <laughs> Actually, is your uh, uh, managing director? Yes, correct. So uh-huh. we, when we when we sat down and had lunch and spoke uh-huh. about this 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 idea, we thought about how we can add value. Okay. How we can disrupt mm-hmm. the logistics industry as well. Wait, a hold whole. on. She was your uh, what background is he? From? Ah, okay. So a little bit about Chi Hao. Uh-huh. Uh huh. He he used to work with me. Okay. He used to work with me uh-huh. at uh, the company, the GSA company. I was uh-huh. mentioning Air Freight. Uh huh. Um, I was the finance manager in All the company. Right. Okay. He was the sales guy. Okay. So uh, the story I like to tell mm. is uh, back then, you know, uh, we used to work together uh, in tenders, bids, and stuff like that, proposals. Uh-huh. And I used to be the one that signs Science his claims. Okay, his claims. Uh, so sometimes I'm I'm very amazed at the places that he goes. Ah. Uh, so you can see apa ni receipt mana ni ho oh, I, I know what you did last time. <laughs> uh. It's something he doesn't want to share. Yes, yes. Yeah, so cannot share on live TV. Uh, okay, okay. So uh, that's where we met, and uh-huh. I suppose that's where we we got a bit of chemistry. Uh huh. And then. Um, that's really important in a partnership. Definitely, definitely. Uh-huh. And then we we had lunch one day, spoke about how this whole logistics industry is still mm. very traditional, right. pretty much inefficient, uh, even it, though in air freight. And we just thought, and it's controlled by the same old people for the yeah, last 20-30 exactly, years. Very traditional ways and mindsets. Uh-huh. And we just thought that maybe we can inject a little bit of uh, technology into this space. Okay. So we we chose land freight lah. Uh, yes. Land freight was the easiest to do. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was not that that difficult. Easier to start, I guess. To start, yeah. Yes. So if you could if you could look at the vision, the uh. overall vision has always been um, uh, innovating using technology. Uh-huh. Uh, but then we chose uh, land freight over sea freight and air freight because it was the simplest. So See, you'll have the first version of the uh-huh. website was really, you know, we were we were changing the way people book lorries online. Okay. Uh, Before that, there was not la. not really, really lorries uh, online. What? Yeah. Phone. Uh, you, s- you see the signboard on the trees, lorry yeah. saver, lorry saver. All right, so the, the trees and lampposts, lah. Uh-huh. So I like to call them the trees and lampposts. Uh, those were ha- the ways people book uh, yeah, lorries, right. and we wanted to disrupt that, mm. and we did. Uh, so we we set out, we created a product, uh-huh. and then uh, we basically grew from there. So like you injected your own money, is it for the at trial the phase? At the start, yes. Uh, at the start, um, uh, I think we both of us we pumped in uh, about. I think 20k ringgit uh-huh. uh, to build the initial website guess, and also yes. for initial marketing. And and it was used to be more expensive in 2013, 2014. Yeah, yeah. 2014. 14. Uh, and then uh, subsequently we got VC funding. So I guess. So if, if your idea is good enough, you'll get your yeah. People will come to support you. So like, so that was the reason that you started this. Yeah, uh, oh, right. basically we we want to make an impact la. But I guess personally, so. uh-huh. I feel that uh, why I wanted to do my own thing uh-huh. um, was not just because I want to be or oh, uh, I can be proud. And jadi bos sendiri. Jadi bos sendiri, right? Uh-huh. So a lot of people go into business. Hey, I want to become my own boss. Uh-huh. I don't want to listen to anybody. They don't know the reason why they're doing it, how to do it. Yeah, uh, but um, the funny thing is, when you mm. become entrepreneurs, uh-huh. you actually have somebody that you answer to. Definitely, your yeah. finances, uh, your customers, your investors. investors, investors. So uh-huh. investors trust you. Yeah, uh-huh. they invest in you, and uh-huh. you you some, somewhat have to have to uh, repay that trust by uh-huh. giving them the performance that they need. Yes, right? yes. So yeah, pretty much that's how um, we started the lorry. Wow. So like, you have started three years ago. How's business right now? Great. Uh, we. We have definitely grown, uh, leaps and bounds since mm-hmm. we started. Um, uh, I can see that, man. You, you, yeah, you we, guys' faces are everywhere. <laughs> and uh, you no, know, we we expanded our offering uh, uh-huh. in 2015. Uh, I think when we started, we were pretty much doing house moving. Okay. What we call the B2C business, uh. Okay. And then we subsequently expanded into B2B. 
B2B means uh, corporates. Uh. Yes. So our value proposition for uh, How would corporates, corporates usually like the way I see I can see someone like moving houses. Yeah. It's like clear in my mind. Yeah. How does a corporate use So you? for instance if a distributor All right. they want to send items to uh, maybe I don't know drinks or uh-huh. even uh, apparels uh-huh. right to shopping malls uh-huh. so we are the, the the reliable outsource fleet so what you need to do is just go to the to our platform uh-huh. press a few buttons and uh-huh. then it will immediately uh, find uh, the, the, the driver that's closest to the job can they schedule it every week can can if they want to yeah. so because before this the way i see it is like they have to buy their own lorry yeah and exactly. hire so two people just for that Absolutely. So the, the 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 real value proposition that we give the corporates is uh-huh. you no longer have to buy your own trucks. Yeah. I mean, it's a it's a costly affair. With really. buying comes the maintenance, Correct. comes the uh, what Puspacom inspection Correct. and all that. It's a bit more. Uh, I mean, outsourcing is definitely a little bit more expensive. Uh-huh. However, when you when you look at the convenience of it. It's definitely uh, in the long yes. run more. They just have uh, to think about expanding their business. Correct, correct. Instead you, of maintaining the. It allows you to focus on what you do best. Yes, yes, mm-hmm. I understand. So now you also shared that you're going to the bigger corporate level. Yes, yes. So mm-hmm. uh, we are working with some MNCs at the moment, mm-hmm. uh, strategically as well as on partnership basis. Uh-huh. Um, yeah, we're we're still on the lookout for more for more deals, more businesses. But again, like I said, like entrepreneurs are never satisfied. Never satisfied. Yeah. Actually, stay foolish, stay hungry. Yeah, stay like, foolish, stay hungry. Who said yes. that? Yes. Jobs good. That's all. Steve Jobs, Steve Jobs. Steve Jobs. 50, 50 cents say 50 what? Check. 50 <laughs> cents say get rich, die trying. Get sorry. rich or die trying, yes. That's his album. La. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, what's your future expansion plans? Okay, so we're currently, currently in Singapore. We have uh-huh. a team of about 35. So you're based out of Singapore? Uh, no, we're based out of oh, Malaysia. Malaysia, but yeah, you're expanding I mean, to Sing- our expanded to Singapore. Expanded to Singapore. Mm. And Thailand, uh, by the end of the year, wow. we are so like you exploring got a few models over there. Um, and we're going to choose one uh, very, very soon. Um, and hopefully the rest of Southeast Asia by you know, two, three years. That's great, man. Like, you re- in three years, you yeah. just got there. If, have you ever done cross-border? Like yes. So, cross-border is, uh, is now uh, a good portion of our revenue already. Uh-huh. I think, if not mistaken, maybe about 5 times 10. Wow. Uh, cross-border, so, not just on the B2C side, yeah. where we handle uh, S- Singaporeans who want to move, move to Malaysia, to Malaysia. as well as likewise. Like Nusa Jaya uh, and all that. And expats who you know, mm-hmm. get transferred here and there. Uh-huh. Uh, we also do B2B. Okay, uh, people okay. who want to transfer stocks, transfer uh-huh. items from Malaysia to Singapore. Uh-huh. And that, uh, we partner with a freight forwarder to help on the custom side. All right. So you also so they do all the fili- filing of the customs, correct, correct. customs. declaration forms, correct. and the all K1 that. forms and all. Yes, okay. You can also do that from now from Thailand to Singapore. Yes, that's the idea. That because uh, I used to be in Thailand before, like okay. a few months, and the Where number of, no, just Hanyai. What? Hanyai. Hanyai. Uh, for holiday or? I was working in a, in a uh, factory there. So I, the number of trucks and lorries that just passes on a daily basis yeah. means just so much. Yeah. In, in Thailand, it's very unique. They have these trucks called the mother and child. What's so there's a mother truck. And the back pulling there is one. A, like a like a connecting yes, uh, yes. cargo. So they in, call it in Australia, they have it, they call it the land trains. The land trains, yeah. It's just like one call it pulling like 15, 20 trucks at the back. Yep, yeah. Oh, that's like, you call it the mother truckers. Mother. <laughs> As an American. So, okay, uh, you have said, uh, talked about your expansion plans, your current plans. So, can we move into our topic for today? Can, can. So, you, Nadir will be sharing with us about um, how to start up yeah. Start your startup in a yeah, yeah. proper manner. So, before going further, is there a wrong way to do it? I think the wrong way to do it uh, uh-huh. would be how I did it before. What right. was that? So, like I said, in between, in between the air freight company uh-huh. and the lorry, I actually created a, a social networking app. Okay. So, it that's was like my first ever tech venture. That's too much work, right? Yeah, sorry? That's too much work, yeah, right? Exactly. So, uh, but it was... Yeah. It was niche in the sense that we were focusing on uh-huh. expats uh-huh. and travelers okay. and students living abroad. So you concentrated on these guys to sell your products. Correct, correct. And the idea was uh, we create a, uh-huh. a community. Uh-huh. However, why I thought that it was, I suppose, the wrong way. Uh-huh. Number one, 
um, we didn't do what we call validation. Okay. Validation in the sense that we didn't speak to a single potential user. You it, wanted people to buy what you were selling straight away. Correct. So, I, I mean, I uh, I had the the notion that uh. I was smart. Right, mm. I was uh, you know, better than uh. the customers. You know, I had this Henry Ford idea that you uh. know, if people ask me what would the, be the best, you know, yeah, it's not be a faster, faster horses, horse, faster horses, right? <laughs> so I had this notion, right. you know, nobody knows the, anything. What's the future? I know is. everything, right? Uh -huh. So I said, okay, no, we're not going to talk to anybody. We're just going to build this product in stealth mode. Uh -huh. Right, just build, just launch it, just launch it. <laughs> sure, got customers, man. Okay. Right, but uh, again. Uh, that that wasn't the so case. Validation is like uh, the first testing what is absolutely key, absolutely. Okay, yeah. we have two questions. Wow. Okay. okay uh, already. Already. Wow. Okay, we'll go to the question. Okay, uh, Miss Lakshmi asked. That's my friend sister. All right. She's asking when you first started. How did you convince your customers to use your service? Great. How did you get your customers in early days? I think we'll cover this slowly as we talk. Yep. Yep. So that will be uh, part of our spe uh, discussion. Okay. The next one is. Hi Nadir, may I know how much the lorry budget on marketing? Wow. Whoa, trade secret. Uh. Uh, a, bit, a bit difficult to answer. Uh, and that. how you increase the budget? Okay, right. that one you can. This one, okay. you, you PM me now, we discuss. Uh, <laughs> ask them the invest also. Uh. <laughs> okay, uh, by the way, uh, Nadir is also a part of a learning platform called tu Kudagang. Okay. Uh, so he might also be sharing more info on that platform. Yeah. yeah. All right, we continue. Okay, so where was I? Uh, I was on how not to start a startup. How right? not to start Number after one your social is media. You don't validate, right? Just don't talk to anybody, and uh, just do it on a stealth mode. Uh -huh. A lot of entrepreneurs, right? They like to be on the stealth mode. Yes. Because they think their ideas are super valuable. Oh, right, right. Churi idea, ka? Correct, churi idea, right? Uh -huh. Unless your idea is about curing cancer. And a, a biotech <laughs> or a something like that. Uh -huh. I, I don't really feel that you should just guard it like that. Right. Why? Because eh? there's there's no there's no point. Why? Because I feel ideas are uh -huh. cheap. Uh -huh. What matters ideas is are execution. execution. You can have, have a look at the guys at the uh, Rocket Internet guys. Uh -huh. What they're doing is not really original. They copy some more apps. They right? copy, but uh -huh. they copy it well. Yes, better they, than the original. They copy the be sometimes better than the incumbent. Right, right. right. So ideas are cheap really. Especially ideas are cheap. in, uh, I suppose, uh, uh, tech, uh, uh -huh. uh, internet businesses. Uh -huh. Um, number two, uh, I think one of the key reasons why why we we really didn't take off lah, mm -hmm. uh, uh, and uh, is uh, not really understanding what it what 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 uh, product market fit is all about. Right. So you are trying to market everything or exactly. So product market fit is where you know you uh, you have a product uh -huh. and the market uh -huh. understands and receives it well. Okay. Right. So we were definitely product market unfit. Unfit right. means that we we created a product that nobody wanted to use. Mm -hmm. right. So if I had understood that, I probably why nobody build. wanted to use you actually were selling some lorry service to. No, th this was the the social network. Social thing. network part. Uh, so okay, 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 okay. Um, I mean, nobody wanted to use it because uh -huh. we we didn't solve what's called a, a problem a pain uh -huh. point. And really, why I think 30-40% startups fail, one uh -huh. of the main reasons is they did not build something that customers want to use. Right? So they just they build for shops maybe. Uh, overnight, you have a good idea, you call a few friends, yeah. like, hey, I got the next biggest yes, idea. Yes. We're going to be like Zuckerberg and Jobs. Correct, correct. That's, that, that, that was wha uh, how I started uh, okay. the previous company as well. But we were, we were influenced. We were influenced but at that by time, I would say like 14, social network was the big yeah, yeah, so Instagram just uh, got bought out uh -huh. by uh, Facebook for a billion dollars. Uh -huh. There were a lot of these uh, new social net networks uh -huh. that came up like Path. Uh -huh. And we were, we were influenced. Uh -huh. uh -huh. mm. Okay, Zira says, Nati Saya PM. Alright. Alright. Okay. okay uh, uh, I suppose on the topic. Go ahead, go um, ahead. So, how I feel, uh, mm. I think new and, and budding entrepreneurs, how uh -huh. you should start really is, number one, you should have uh, an avatar in mind or avatar. a target customer in mind. Customer of, avatar. Customer first. Yes. Why? Because a lot of people have this uh, idea uh -huh. and then they, they think about the product first. Okay. I mean, that's not necessarily wrong, uh -huh. but I feel the better way uh -huh. you think about the product first. Say, uh -huh. you. Let's, let's look at you guys. Right? Okay. Inspire that. Uh -huh. So, you guys want to. Uh, if let's say I want to create a 
a, a, a video content company, uh -huh. right? Uh, we 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 think about the customer first. Yes. Okay. Let's just say we want to talk about entrepreneurs. Right. Right. What are their pain points? Yes. Right. We think we first think about the avatar, then we think about what uh, what problems they have. Mm -hmm. So, for instance, it could be oh they want. Uh, they want to understand uh -huh. how to do marketing. Right. They want to do how to. They want to know how to close sales. Right. They want to know how to raise funding. Raise funding. They want so. to know how to do hiring, manage people. Right. Yes. So all these are key problems. Uh -huh. Right. So think about problem number one. Okay. Number two, uh -huh. uh, we think about their interests. Uh huh. So entrepreneurs, what are their interests? Maybe they like to go on holiday. Right. All right. They like to, um, I know, do entrepreneurs fun. like to go on holiday. Yeah. Not not at the early maybe, stage, lah. Uh, maybe they, they like to watch movies. Yes. They like to watch, uh, I don't know, Game of Thrones. Uh -huh. Yes, uh, that's like crazy right now. Right. So the third one would mm. be what's called uh, fears. What are entrepreneurs' biggest fears? Uh -huh. Maybe one day, you know, like they people they don't want to buy my product. Maybe yes, right. number one. Maybe they collapse one day and then they cannot provide for their family. Uh, maybe they are incapacitated or paralyzed. Possible, right? That's a fear, right. right? right. So, what what we do then uh -huh. is with this I call it the problems uh, int uh, problems interests and fears. P I F problems right. interests and fears. Problems interests and fears. Uh -huh. Then you come up with solutions for all these problems. All this. and so you and list fears. down all possible solutions for problem interests and mm. fears, and then from there onwards, mm. then only you create the the product. Okay. So you test it one by one. So for instance, mm -hmm. uh, we want to solve the problem of entrepreneurs wanting mm. to uh, learn about marketing okay so we say okay we uh, we feel the best product uh -huh. will be to create a, a video series okay. of right uh, of uh, of marketers sharing, exactly sharing their best practices uh -huh. so you create a video series uh -huh. and then you launch it to the market it could mm. be done like how you guys are doing right uh -huh. now put it on Facebook get uh -huh. get shares uh -huh. and then get engagement yeah, right. and see where you go from there right right actually and we don't have a proper one single product yet yeah. as well. We are still trying to learn where to go. Correct. So from there onwards, yes. then you, if let's say the response is good, uh -huh. then only put more resources, time yes. and, and money into yes. it. Yes. So perhaps later on, uh -huh. after you've created this series, you mm. can create a premium series. Like where mm. you will interview the best of the best uh -huh. and they will really reveal secrets. Right. right? You can secrets ask. of the trade. Uh -huh. So then you can charge. And then if it contoh lah, if it doesn't work, mm -hmm. if let's say the videos that you put up, you know maybe uh, no one wants lah, no one wants to uh, watch, uh -huh. then you pivot. Yes. You change the strategy. Maybe maybe uh, marketing is not what entrepreneurs want to to look at. Maybe yeah. they want to look at how hiring. to raise fund, how to raise funding, how to raise funding. Yes. So you constantly pivot until mm. you uh, get get it right. What I like to say is you know validation, right? This uh -huh. this process what, what I just explained uh -huh. is validation, and how you should think about it is uh -huh. like going to war. Going to war. So when Oi. you go to war, you got to send some spies. Yeah. Send maybe one battalion first yes, like to see what the enemy is all about. Right? UAV, unmanned aerial uh, vehicle. Correct. So the enemy might have some tricks uh -huh. under their sleeve. So you, you need to know what they're all about. So you got to send some spies first. Yes. So like, like, uh, likewise, mm -hmm. when you do a, a business, say you have this, this full idea of yours. Mm -hmm. Say you want to build a social network uh -huh. right? like, like Facebook, mm -hmm. you're not going to straight away build a, a, a copy of Facebook because it yes. will take too much time, uh -huh. right? Try with mm. a, a feature first, mm. a small feature first. So, uh -huh. uh, I suppose uh, Tesla, that's the uh -huh. test, test market. Okay. That's, that's the best uh, way to explain it. Okay, hold on. Uh, we have some questions. Uh, let Nadir finish first, he's sharing. Uh, after that, we'll open some time for questions. All right. Okay, guys. So Carol is one and Eugene, just wait wait for a while, alright? Eugene what? Eugene Tan. Kawan eh. Eugene he Tan. asked a very good question. What, what he asked? <laughs> what he he asked? asked, Hi Nadir, when is the time to give up and move on? <laughs> oh. uh, so, no, no, later, later. Oh, okay, okay, right. Okay, so so first you talk about customer avatar okay. and validation. Alright. So what would be the next step? Um so I talked about pivot. Pivot. Um, so once you uh, get say la, I, I like to I, I like to term it maybe one hundred customers. Okay. Let's let's say you get one hundred happy customers happy who give customers. you really good ratings uh -huh. and they are paying for your product, uh -huh. like give you money, uh -huh. then you can talk about uh, post validation stuff. Apple stuff to post like, validation. Stuff like brand building. Right? Brand, brand building. So 
uh, after you you know that you have this product market fit, uh-huh. then you can start to really scale, lah. Right. Brand. Build, build your brand. Mm. Um, what I mean by building uh, building brand is, I think one of you guys talk about this, right? Uh, burn money. Uh, burn money. You know, <laughs> burning money sustainably, lah. Right. Uh, okay, yes. So, uh, no, you want that money to bring you ten times more. Correct. Correct. And at the end of the day, branding is all about what? Increasing conversions. Increasing conversions. So every uh, every 100 users that come in, uh-huh. say 2% percent will convert. But Normally, with brand, one to two percent. Correct. Yes. With brand, with uh, brand recognition, brand awareness, people, uh-huh. people trust you. There's a uh, good testimonials. There's uh-huh. good word of mouth. So I think uh, it's not impossible for you to get seven, eight, ten percent. Seven, eight. But by doing this, we are also narrowing our customers. We are learning more about yeah. our customers. Yeah, exactly. So I don't just target everyone. Now I target certain people. Correct. Correct. Okay. So um, what I I recommend to new entrepreneurs is. Uh-huh. Don't don't think about many avatars at the start. Like a lot of people, when this, when I start, okay, this product uh, can be used for these guys, hmm. and also these guys, and also uh, these guys. Right? Uh, think about just one segment, and just fo- deep dive, focus on this one this, segment this really well first, and then later slowly. Could you like expand. give an example? Because like uh, I know people selling like uh, tudung lah kan. Okay. So contoh. Siapa eh? pakai tudung? <laughs> Semua perempuan Muslim Malaysia pakai right. tudung. That's Betul. like too big. Contoh, okay. Tudung ada banyak. Okay. Kita ada geng maci, uh. kita ada geng uh, apa orang-orang hipster yes. macam, macam hijabista. We call hijabista. It. So yes. which one you want to focus? Uh-huh. If you want to focus on maci, uh. your positioning, your branding, your pricing, got to be different. So the ads will have to be targeted the differently. The ads must be pakci maci lah. Maybe uh, you put Dato Sri Vida over there. <laughs> right? So you cannot put. You cannot put a, a Vivi Yusof at a Machi punya ni. I don't know lah. Maybe I'm not in a tudung business. I don't know. Lah. Hey, she's from, back to the single market. Like come on lah. Yeah. <laughs> so you you gotta know who your who your customers are. Yeah. And, and really so like the hijab them. star, then the place to attack them would be different. Correct. Probably Instagram, Correct. Snapchat. So uh. maybe the older generation, the Machis, you oh. target uh, maybe the magazines, right. um, perhaps the newspapers. TV tiga. TV tiga. Yes. Uh, but the younger guys, you uh. gotta talk about uh, reaching out to influencers. Yeah. You gotta do Insta stories. Uh huh. Right? You gotta do, you know, Snapchats. You know, things mm-hmm. that. They would where do. are they? So you have to look for like yeah, exactly. your where your buyer. They? Where are they? Yeah. Uh. Absolutely. So all right. So that's like a really useful information. People yeah. actually charge for those kind of information. Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay, so increase conversion, branding, and then what else w- would be a post validation process? Uh, okay, so after you are validated, typically during the validation process, uh-huh. it, it will be pro- probably yourself, uh-huh. maybe a partner, right, uh-huh. who, who who believes in you, uh-huh. and then after that, it's about building a team. Right, so then it'll be a team. Building a team. So, so normally, two or three orang lah. Correct. So, so uh, uh-huh. building a team, you could build it sustainably, uh-huh. like what Eugene Tan did. Eugene. What did Eugene Tan do? So Eugene Tan, he's uh, he's the founder of Kaput. Kaput. Uh, Kaput is Kaput. A, uh, an app that uh. does uh, car breakdown services, lah. Ah. So he the he, car go kaput. Yeah, the car go kaput. That's right. <laughs> okay. So he he looked at um, he built his team uh-huh. organically. Macam mana? Organically means he didn't get that much outside funding. Okay. He bootstrapped. Uh huh. Every profits that he earned mm-hmm. uh, put, was put back, back into, into the, the into the uh, company, right. and right. then he used that to hire more and more people. Wow! So you could go that route, the uh-huh. Eugene Town route, mm-hmm. or you could go the Nadi route. The Nadi route uh, the is Nadi route a bit different. Nadi route was uh, we actually uh, after validation mm-hmm. we joined an accelerator program. Yes. And during the accelerator program, we uh-huh. got uh, funding from mm. uh, Koji San, our KK fund. Koji San. Uh, so okay. he is a Japanese investor based mm. out of Singapore. Okay. So and if there are anyone's wondering, the Lorry Ventru Cyberview Living Lab accelerator. Yeah, exactly. Cyberview, okay. Cyberview Living Lab. Because someone will ask that question later. Yeah. And then uh, from mm. that from that seed funding, mm. we really uh, built the the team lah. Okay. So we built a core team of about 10 guys. 10 guys. Uh, is it like quite a lot ah? 10. Uh, to start like yeah, it's, dari dua orang pergi sepuluh orang. It's uh, pretty decent because we uh-huh. we needed the the tech guys, uh-huh. you know the business development guys, uh-huh. the customer service to to, uh, to 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 really scale at the start lah. Uh-huh. But it wasn't many because ten um, minus two uh-huh. um, me and Chi Hao, so that's uh-huh. only eight people. Eight mm. okay. So like, would you like give the breakdown like contohnya your company a logistic company and a tech company, a tech company working with the logistics. 
how many like tech guys would you need how many right. business development guys would you need uh, subjective however subjective uh, but he's a successful example so you might consider okay. so a little bit about our company breakdown uh-huh. uh, the 35 people that i mentioned uh, 35 okay. 10 guys are actually tech 10 tech uh, the balance are sales customer service operations uh, finance and singapore team singapore team also like this singapore big? we have a, uh, a team of three So they manage operations, lah. Manage operations over there. So uh-huh. all the tech, all the finance Back are in, still yeah. in-house. In, okay. I mean, in, in HQ. Uh-huh. At the moment, uh, Singapore is just a, a, a BD and operations hub. Uh, so if you were to go and uh, get more customers in Singapore, would you like travel down yourself? Oh, uh, yes, definitely. Okay. Uh, I actually go there almost almost once a month. All right. All right. Uh, go down there, speak to the speak to the, our country manager Gabriel. Mm-hmm. Uh, most recently, we did this influencer campaign. Singaporean influencer. Uh, Singaporean influencer okay. campaign, so it was quite fun. Okay. Uh, it was it wasn't like influencer like the 100k and the 200k kind of influencers. Okay. It was below 50k kind of influencers. 100k isn't that like the population of Singapore? <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> no lah. No. There there are there are six million. I think. Okay. Yeah, so okay. So, so, yeah. <laughs> okay. So. How how is like Singapore market different from Malaysian market? Singaporeans are a bit different. Um, uh-huh. I like to joke lah. Okay, uh-huh. please, Singaporeans listening to this, please take this in a uh, good way lah. Okay, okay. Uh, you okay. guys feel that everything is far, right? So uh, CBD to Tua, CBD to Jurong is far, right? Yeah but lah. the thing is, Malaysians Bangi to Rawang is still considered new. Yeah, that's like uh, a daily com- work commute. Uh, lah, bro. daily commute. You know, Bangi uh-huh. to maybe uh-huh. JB is far lah. You know, for us, uh-huh. uh, for Singaporeans, uh, CBD to uh, Jurong is far, uh-huh. and. And Singaporeans, they, they, I mean, the culture is a little bit different, but not very different. So, but but they have MRT end to end, right? Yeah, but they yeah. don't use it. But it's still far. Like, Anyways, so uh, what is like three stops is there? Uh, for them, I think above ten stops is probably very far. Oh, okay, yes, so far. Okay, uh, so Singaporeans, uh, we actually created a different different product. Uh, uh-huh. We tweaked it, tweaked the Malaysian product a little bit uh-huh. uh, to suit the the. The uh, I suppose the culture, the the slang, oh, also right. the terminologies. Uh, yes. For instance, over here in Malaysia, we call the lorries by by tonnage. So one tonnage, ton, three yes. ton, right? In Mal- in Singapore, it's uh. mostly footers. Uh-huh. So like ten footers, fourteen footers. It's like centipede style. Centipede. Uh, yes. <laughs> no, sorry. So the ten footer and twelve footers. Yeah. Like, I uh, do they carry a different amounts? Uh, actually, volume wise, it's about the same. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Because Ten footers is associated with one ton. Okay. Fourteen footers is three ton. Uh-huh. It's just the, the the different way you call oh, it. All right, all right. So here we have like bonded, semi bonded. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, Frozen as well. Over there, there is no there's no what's called a canvas lorry. Maybe so papan lah. Uh, papan. Okay, there's no over half there half fully, papan half canvas. Fully box. We call it box. Okay, okay, okay. So like, besides that, like, what do they normally use it for? Do they move houses a lot? Yeah, like houses in Singapore, we do mostly uh, uh, house moving. They have like HBDs. Yeah, HDBs. exactly. HDB. HDB. HDBs. Uh-huh. Uh, moving. Uh-huh. Uh, we got a good uh, uh, customer base in what we call the FTs, uh, foreign that? talents. Uh huh. Right, expats and FTs. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Also local Singaporeans as well. Uh huh. Yeah. So you uh, you also shared earlier that you are going into Thailand. Thailand. So Thailand by the end of the year. Uh, we're still thinking of the the best structure uh, to to structure going to straight to Thailand. Bangkok or start going like Bangkok lah Bangkok. Bangkok definitely we go you start Bangkok. everything at yeah. the capital lah yeah. so you'll need a translator for that yes will you be hiring in house team will be slightly different now uh-huh. we need to have a, a a person maybe a marketing person over there you need to, to understand the, the culture there is totally exactly, different to from the local right. marketing uh huh so yeah that's your expansion plans okay. Can we like take questions in minutes? Yeah, like yeah, so many ahead. questions now. I don't know what to do. All right. Um, that was Eugene's questions. Do you want to answer? Okay. What was the question? What? Stop. When is the time to give up and move on? Never. Hey, hey, hey but his couple is going well, right? Couple is doing well. He's he's not giving up. He's just he's just asking a question, lah. Uh, but never give up. If you if you think that your idea works, mm. and if you think that there's a leg in this idea, you shouldn't <coughs> give up really. No, and uh, there obviously there is a there's a point between stubbornness uh-huh. in in betting on the wrong horse uh-huh. and being persistent lah. Uh, uh, it's also got a ego problem, right? Ego problem, but if the numbers don't work out, uh-huh. you know, if uh, things don't really go well, then uh-huh. I think 
moving on is probably the best uh, uh-huh. the best option okay hold on there's a question here i can't see the full question hi nadir thank you for sharing your experience with us today this is kairul is one i'm currently working on my own startup right now product development stage at what stage should i start seeking early seed funding we okay oh ai uh, angel investor or venture capitalist would be interested to fund a startup got it Uh, the answer would be after you have achieved product market fit and validation. Uh-huh. Uh, means you just very simple get 100 uh-huh. paying customers, uh-huh. happy paying customers. Uh-huh. Once you reach that, you go to any angel investors. The likelihood of you, uh, the likely likelihood of you getting funding from them is uh-huh. higher. Not to okay. say it's a definite, but it's higher. Higher than just an ideation or yeah. product development exactly. stage. So. Uh, however, if yeah. you if you have an idea mm. and you really want to test it out, uh-huh. I, I really recommend the accelerator route. Uh-huh. Right. So there are many accelerators out there in in Malaysia. Mm-hmm. Uh, there is the CLLA the, uh-huh. uh, accelerator. There is the WTF Next Year Angel Accelerator. Yes. One, two, three, Watchtower seven. and Friends. It's not WTF line. Yeah, Watchtower and Friends. Hi yeah. Sam. <laughs> Don't get uh, it wrong. <laughs> so there are, there are many many of these accelerators, and uh-huh. they usually invest in you in. What we call the idea or PowerPoint stage. Uh-huh. Right? So you can have a great PowerPoint, great team, and they'll invest maybe 50k in you. Uh-huh. Test it out for uh-huh. the duration of the program, maybe uh-huh. three or four months, yeah. and then there will be uh, typically a demo day. Demo, uh, demo day, day yes. where you find interested investors to invest on. Uh huh. So they also gauge like three months how much you have grown. Yep. In six months how much you have grown. Yep. yep. And they also give mentors, right? Yes. So uh, the difference. Between, I, I suppose, an incubate, incubate model, incubator, uh, accelerator model, in that uh, and an organic uh, model. Accelerators uh. give uh, startups mentorship. I think mm. that's absolute, absolute key. Like. Definitely. I think for us, uh. without mentors, we wouldn't really be here where we are today. Uh-huh. Um, mentors, uh, ideally, if, if I were to give advice like, uh-huh. to an entrepreneur, please go find one mentor uh-huh. who's been there, done that. You know, who knows the what, what's happening. Where do they find mentors? Networking. Uh. Networking events. Yeah. So, the the idea of who you know uh-huh. versus what you know thing, you know, it'll be totally different, right? I think, yes. I think it's true, okay. right? Where oh. you 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 gotta know it people. It matters more. Exactly. Who you know matters more. Exactly. You, like you, like you they know. say for the job market, people looking for jobs, it's better to know someone in the A- company. Absolutely, you know, uh-huh. you, you gotta being entrepreneurs, you gotta know people. Uh-huh. Right? You gotta be uh, confident and uh, confident enough to approach anybody and say, "Hi, I'm from here, and uh-huh. I would like to have coffee with you." Right? But then you need your product first, lah, when you're approaching Correct. mentor Correct. and all that. Right? Okay, Hans, Kata, nice speaker. Speak, okay, uh, nice speaker. Speaker, speaker, Hanson, ke? Speaker, cakap, hello, ni. Okay. Anyway, um, Saifullah says, "Thank you for sharing." Suryati says, "Good point of view from a man towards Tudong. They can believe into history, dear lah." Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Not okay, not deep, but uh, I haven't bought the the top end written shah. Yeah, it's like thousand bucks Tudong right yeah, now, though. Yeah, dark dark scarves, you know. Apa do? Dark scarf is uh, by Fashion Valley by Bila. Damn. So that one is like. Will it will it increase in price if I buy and keep and sell it in two years? Uh? Probably lah. I think you can create this. Then then yeah. yeah. Macam like Nike market. S kan, yeah, <laughs> you yeah. beli simpan. Okay, Hans Sambol, Hans tanya, how are you doing the offline online marketing? Got it. So um, we do pretty much more digital, more uh-huh. online marketing. But offline, did it change uh, from like your early days marketing dengan sekarang punya marketing? It's pretty much been the same. Uh-huh. Uh, we emphasize a lot on Google AdWords, uh-huh. Facebook ads, uh-huh. uh, reaching out to influencers, blogs to to speak about us. Uh-huh. But sometimes we do out, out outdoor. In outdoor the sense macam? of giving out flyers. Okay. However, giving out flyers and all, the 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 conversion is a bit low. Uh-huh. Uh huh. But that is more for brand building lah. For yes, awareness. brand awareness. Yeah. Orang nampak lah mana mana. Yeah, exactly. Like, yes. Okay. Uh, but uh, we haven't really explored things like billboard. Billboard. Uh, billboards. Um, soon lah. Soon. Once we get money, can lah. Billboard like it's like forty thousand tau satu yeah, billboard. It depends tau. on where the where the uh, billboard is uh-huh. in the highway. Probably uh-huh. if let's say you're traveling this way on uh-huh. the left, and then dia kat sini. Uh, on the other side, it's uh-huh. actually quite cheap. Fifteen k, sixteen k, I think per per year. Okay. Of that sort, so it's uh-huh. not that expensive. But that's along the highway. Uh-huh. However, if you look think uh, if you look at federal highway, uh-huh. huge forty uh-huh. footer billboards. That's two hundred k. Atap billboard satu, and then one more on the. 
uh, yang atas flyovers, flyovers. Yeah, you can put on the flyovers maybe six figures ah huh? wow for not 200k not for a year or probably like 3 months damn so one campaign one campaign, one campaign. Yeah. uh offline those stuff yeah offline uh, we we do mostly events and uh, like we go to furniture events uh-huh. right as well as uh, flyers ah huh? all right okay hans i hope that if you still have more question you can post down here nadir will try to answer you fauzan fauzan ni my housemate dulu what drives you driver lah no what makes you giving up your 5 to 6 job to work 8 to 5 lah kau to work on your project how do you get the balls to do that all right the balls okay so the balls <laughs> came yeah. when i told myself okay uh, dah lah kahwin masa tu exactly so i uh, during this time uh-huh. i On top of the social networking app, uh-huh. I was also doing some side jobs, okay. just to pay the bills. Like I got some, uh, I helped some guys do some research. Uh-huh. I helped my wife uh, oh, do yeah. a little bit of e-commerce. You did learn finance, right? A little so, bit of okay. uh, money just to pay the bills. Mm-hmm. I helped some guys do some events. So I was all over the place. Uh. Mm-hmm. So during this time, I I wasn't very happy about myself. Mima lah. I you I feel depressed, a, bro. I was in a bad period. I was quite depressed. Mm-hmm. Uh, in in so that. Whenever there is any social events, uh, weddings and stuff like that, I, I, I don't pergi. like it. Yeah. Why? Because when whenever you meet a long lost friend, what, what hey, what you doing now, bro? What you doing now, right? How's business, bro? How's business? So <laughs> I I don't have a good answer. Yes. So that's why I stay and away and if you see you're working events. on something, right? They're not supportive, especially the good friends. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so um, wait, what was the question? Uh, so like, how do you get okay. the boss to do it? So I told myself, okay, uh, after quitting my job, I'll give myself a. a a certain period of time uh, uh-huh. where if uh, after this period of time i mm. don't make it uh-huh. which was back then december 2014 december 2014 so you gave a time give, limit i give my, i give myself berapa lama tu tak 6 bulan ke setahun ke i quit my job january 2014 so setahun okay yeah so about a year uh-huh. if nothing happens within a year uh-huh. and uh, then i will find a job All But right. Alhamdulillah, September 2014, we started the lorry. Uh-huh. I found something there, mm. and then January we got accelerator funding, which gave gave us a little bit. Uh, actually, wait, mm, yeah, a little bit of salary lah, not much. Okay. Like very minimal, and then got seed funding lah. Chante. Right. So from there, we we took uh, our first 2,000 ringgit salary. So like, mas accelerator just enough to makan travel, just enough, just come enough, to like this place. Barely enough lah. So oh, nice. Okay, Fauzan, hope you. Learn something from that. Next is Daniel. If I have an idea, how Daniel can I move? What? Daniel. Okay, alright. Kenal. No, I thought another Daniel. If I have an idea, how can I move to the next stage? I'm a non-tech founder. Where Good. can I go? I'm a non-tech guy as well. How can he's a finance guy? I'm a finance guy as well. Okay. So I'm a fi- I'm a finance guy. I'm a non-tech guy. Okay. Uh, the answer is you you gotta find if if your idea is really tech, then uh. find someone. Uh, either a friend uh-huh. or a connection uh-huh. to help you build that product. So typically, they will help you, you know, with um, with the MVP lah. Right. Uh, minimal viable product. Minimum viable product with uh, mm. not much. Yeah. I mean, they won't co- cost that much. Uh-huh. Uh, however, if let's say you don't have friends, then uh-huh. go for freelancers. 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 So that's that's how. Okay. The, the difference is first freelance. You buy sekarang, partner you buy esok. <laughs> yes. So sure. I, I found our freelancer uh, hmm. through some uh, website, something some web design websites. Okay, much uh, like Elance. Saw, exactly. So then hmm. I saw one web design that, that attracted my okay. attention. Okay. I looked at them and I said, "Hey, actually, these guys are Malaysian." So I called them up, uh-huh. met them, uh-huh. and then done. You know, we we built the first version of the website. You know, for I think six thousand ringgit. You. Your version was not an app, is it? Was I was a hundred percent website at the start. See, many people think they had need to have an app. I don't know why. Depends Website on the, is enough actually. Yeah, depends on the product, lah. But yeah. apps are generally more expensive. Yes, uh, for to start out, to start out, it's very more complicated, lah, as opposed uh-huh. to a website. Alright, so alright, some people, many people are liking this uh, show. Inchi Azam, hey Nadir, I have my own startup, Kaki Futsal, and it already launched. Main service Kaki Futsal is to give Arena Futsal owners easier to manage their customer reservation, but problem susah untuk dapatkan customer untuk kita punya app he tried making facebook ads but not good result macam mana nak bagi user cuba produk kita can i read sir all right once again all right inci azam he's trying to link up futsal court owners 
with customers. So it's like a chicken and egg story, uh, lah. Wow, uh, hard question because I, I I have not not enough context. Okay. So Tapi lah dari. Tapi lah dari. Okay. Or, or a general later, idea. General idea means uh. probably whatever that you're building uh. might not uh, have the the you're not solving a real pain point. Sebab kalau ada real pain point, there will mm. be at least one customer or mm-hmm. a few customers that that really believe in it. Right. Contoh macam this uh, I suppose uh, uh, schedule managing schedule booking okay. for futsal operators. Uh-huh. Maybe they feel uh, their own their own schedule is already fully fully booked. Ah, tak perlu lah. Ah, tak perlu. Maybe uh. right? Or even their own system is already very uh, uh, sufficient. Contoh mm. Excel Excel sheet can can solve the problem. I think right? it's enough, right? Uh, unless there's a real deep problem when it mm. comes to reservation that mm. you know they feel uh, this product can solve. Okay. Uh, until that, then uh, you're probably not solving a real pain point. Tapi, again, I don't have enough context from it. Okay. Okay, Encik Azam, kalau nak tahu lagi, boleh PM. PM, PM. Eh, sekarang tak boleh PM, PM dah. Uh, PM tak boleh. <laughs> PM. Eh, tak PM, Encik Nadi. Yeah, I'm not selling anything else. So okay. okay, no. As long as you state the price on top, it's okay lah. Yes, yang yes. yang ni harga lain untuk ni. Sengit lah, sengit. Okay. Justin says, Tan Sri Nadir, hopefully soon. Encik Azam Lagi sekali Jom lepak Lepas ni lah Boleh boleh Eh my friend says My voice got echo <coughs> Sedih ya. <laughs> Alright uh, I think we are About the end Alright If Is there one key point That you want to share to Our Key point Yes uh, Since this topic is about validation uh-huh. uh, Please don't spend So much money Time resources uh-huh. uh, When you're at this Validation stage Okay Maximum try spend not more than ten k, ringgit. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Either your own money or your partner's money or your fan, friends and family. Uh-huh. Uh Really, just just uh get get as many uh paying customers as possible. Uh-huh. Validate the idea, and once you do that, then either you go the bootstrap way. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Every profits that you make uh, go into the business, or you can find outside capital who believes in you, either angel investors or VCs. That uh, want a, a piece of your business, then uh, you know grow it to scale. And yeah, so uh, for me, my mission, if possible, I want to uh, kurangkan yuran kebodohan. <laughs> yuran kebodohan. Yeah. So yeah. I've suffered that. I've paid my tuition fees. Uh-huh. So hopefully, you guys will have either either lower tuition fees or, or not. Tada langsung. Yes. So. One way is to like actually you run kebudahan pakai duit orang lain. Yes, yes. But <laughs> janganlah. It's not very difficult. Janganlah. To, <laughs> to, to get this you run from someone else. Uh, some people actually call it your MBA fees lah. MBA fees, yeah. Right, right. So that and we normally have a quiz of the day. Okay. Apa you nak tanya audience? And we'll post the questions again later. Mm-hmm. We have total of eight episodes. Okay. Those with the most answer wins a prize from us Vispa Ella. All right. Okay. So one simple question ah. Boleh, boleh, boleh. Um uh oh my god. Uh for our series A round, uh-huh. who was our two investors? Oh, you beta satu tadi kan? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so you go go online and find it. Ah. Uh, sure so most probably you have to go and check it out in the lorry site. Uh it's not there, maybe some new site. Ah, okay. Mesti ada lah, mesti ada lah. Yep. All right, I think Next week we'll be back with a new concept, probably a new location, but I'm not sure. And we'll be bringing you fresh new content related to startup and business. All right, right, stay tuned, guys, and see you again next week. Bye-bye. Bye.